Hello and welcome to my video on the Elgato lag problem. Before I go on, I would say that all the advice in this video refers to the latest version of the Elgato software, the version uploaded in August 2017, uh, HD 2.7. Now, if you're watching this video, you're probably already aware of the lag problem, but just to make sure we're on the same page, this is the issue where you record a long video using Elgato software, and when you watch the playback, you find that the video is actually lagging behind the audio. So for example, you might hear a shot go off in the, in the soundtrack, but it takes a few seconds before you see the gun fire. And the longer the video goes on, the longer the lag, uh, and the more irritating it becomes. Now, you can edit around these issues, but it's obviously better if it doesn't happen at all. So I went online to see what the problem might be, and there are various people with various theories as to what, what was going on. None of them seem to apply to me in my iMac, though, and I couldn't really figure out what was the matter um, until I got a clue. One day I was processing some video and uh, I got a, a message appear in the, in the middle of my screen saying that the iMac was overheating and that I, unless, unless I did something about it, it was going to shut down. And that was the first inkling I had that my iMac didn't have the chops to do what I wanted it to do. I then went to the Elgato website to check out the technical specifications for computers uh, working with the Elgato HD60 uh, and you can see the results on screen here, the specs for the Mac are at the top and Windows at the bottom and both require an Intel Core i i5 CPU and when I checked my own Macintosh to see what CPU I was running I was quite embarrassed, um, it's very underpowered, in fact it's, it's perhaps three or four generations behind what was needed. The issue being that the CPU simply wasn't powerful enough to deal with all the information I was feeding it. Now, in terms of finding a cure for this, two avenues to explore. One to look at the Elgato settings and the other to look at the iMac itself and, and see what I could do there. So we'll deal with the Elgato side first. If you look on the screen now, you'll see the, the control window for the uh, Game Catcher software. And what we want to do is take a closer look at the top right hand of the screen. And there are two icons here. There's this cog icon, which is the preferences. And if we click on that, we come to this window. And there's one particular setting we're interested in here, and that's enable flashback recording. Obviously, flashback recording very useful under some circumstances, but it takes up a lot of the, uh, the CPU's energy. So turning that off um, is a great saver in that respect. The second icon we're interested in is this hammer and spanner icon, and that is the Elgato settings. And here we're interested in two things. We're interested in the profile and below it quality. Now, as far as the profile goes, I originally had this set to HD 1080, but since I only export to YouTube and, and the default for YouTube is 720, there's really no point in having it on anything but 720. And as far as quality, originally I had this set all the way to the right on best, but aside from producing some massive files, this uh, also eats up an awful lot of the CPU's energy. So I've dialed it right back to between good and better, and frankly, you, you can't tell the difference quality-wise. The next thing we want to have a look at is at the bottom of the screen, this white rectangular icon, and this controls the video preview of the Elgato. This also takes up an awful lot of uh, processing power. You don't need it, so it just makes sense to switch it off. So those are the three steps of the Elgato. The first, go to Preferences and switch off Enable Flashback Recording. The second, to go to Settings, change the profile down to HD720 and bring the quality down between good and better. Lastly, we went to the bottom of the screen and switched off the video preview. Now the next aspect was looking at the iMac itself, and it was very simple really. Every time I do a recording now, I make sure that I only have the game capture software running, because before I'd have applications like Mail or Twitter running in the background, and they were eating up CPU. So there we go, two reasonably simple steps, and even though my iMac is considerably underpowered for the uh, Elgato, I've had no trouble with lag ever since. Now I'm not saying that's the cure for everyone's lag problem, but it certainly was for mine. So I hope you found that useful. If you did, perhaps consider giving me a like or even a subscribe. Thanks for watching and hopefully you'll check out some of my other videos. Thank you very much.